Hey guys, in today's video, we're going over CTR manipulation using redirects. Again, this is William. In today's video, we're going over CTR manipulation utilizing redirects. I had a question come in, and this is one of the things that I utilize when using CTR or click-through rate manipulation. Besides using microworkers, besides using software, Besides using push notifications, besides using your email list, there are several other ways we can utilize um, CTR manipulation, one of which is through redirects. Okay, what is a redirect and what do I mean by a redirect? So what are you going to need? You're going to need your GMB share link. Okay, so first place we're going to go to, we're going to go to Google Maps. And we go right here to share, grab the share link, copy that link, right? And we'll pull that over here. And what will happen is when you're in the back end of your website, and I'm giving you an example, we're making um, your, if you will, your form. There's a couple of ways to do this. Um, and some people have a problem with this because they said maybe the client gets confused, customer gets confused, whatever. They fill out the form and normally just get a little button that says success. To me, that's a waste of time. Number one, what I want to do is I want to utilize my thank you page. What I want when they hit submit, I want it to go to a thank you page. And on that thank you page, let's give you an example. This is step one. One way we can do this, we can just go it hit submit. And then over here, the success redirect URL is simply our GMB. So now instead of it staying on this site when it's successful and they submit it, it goes straight over to my GMB right here and they would just see this information or an offer or I can even send them to a post. I can send them to a GMB post with an offer, you know, like a $20, $50 off coupon or something like that. The other way of doing it is you actually create a thank you page and say something along the lines like this, say, for example, If we wanted to remove this block and we wanted to say this is a thank you page, right? And we wanted to say something like for faster expedited service, click here, right? And then you redirect it over to the GMB listing. That's one way. Another thing you'll see me do a lot is, for example, this write a review button. If you click on it, you'll notice there's a very specific search string up here. I'm utilizing an actual Google search string for sod installation, and it's pulling the lewd CID and the LRD, both of which are numbers, or if you will, knowledge graphs, et cetera, they're attached to that specific CID, attached to this specific Google search. It's a very powerful way to quote unquote manipulate the searches or click-through rate manipulation. In click-through rate manipulation, we want Google to appear, or at least think that we're getting a lot more searches or a lot more calls or actions on our Google My Business listing. And this is just one extra way that we could do it. Another way we can do it is if, for example, let's go to Sod Installation St. Louis. And I'll give you an example of how we can do this. So if I wanted to quote unquote, let's go in here and go to Google My Business. And I'll grab it. Or in the maps and sod installation St. Louis. Sod installation St. Louis, right? All right, let's just go in the back end. Really, is where I should be getting it. And go sign in. And we go sod installation st louis and we want to get the share link and we share it could be the review 
it could be whatever share your business profile I'm just going to grab this right so another tricky thing we could do is we could actually get rid of the home button right in the menu and make this the home button so every time someone clicks on this instead of it just taking them back to the home page it would actually take them to the GMB um, so we can do that as well and what you would do is you'd simply tie your logo to this listing right here. That's another little sneaky tactic that you can do as well. Um, you can even, you know, you just get rid of this home link altogether and then link the logo over to it in the back end of whatever program you're using. And I use WordPress um, and we use Elementor. So those are some tricks in using CTR, click through rate manipulation. Um, so that's what we're going to do and regarding redirects, and that's how we use them, but click-through rate manipulation. Once again, my name is William Jones. This video has been about click-through rate manipulation and utilizing redirects for click-through rate manipulation. If you have any questions, make sure to put them in the comment section below. Like the video, share it if you really love us, and make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, drop them below, and I would gladly help you in any way I can. Y'all guys be blessed, and have a great day.